I just, I just can't anymore. We came all the way to Vegas and you didn't even take me anywhere romantic. I'm sorry, but it's over. I hate you. <sighs> hey, you. Do you love your significant other and want to make sure they don't break up with you? Do they keep complaining that you never take them anywhere nice? Well, fear no more, because I am here to show you how to make them feel special and take them to the most romantic places in Las Vegas. Dang, I should do more infomercials. Okay, but seriously, there's a ton of romantic spots all over the city, and today I want to show you some of my favorites. And for this first place, we're here at the Palms, and I have my lovely date, Giselle. Hi, hi everyone, I'm back. So Giselle, I'm gonna take you somewhere very romantic. Oh my god, me? You deserve it. First, we need to go on an elevator. Ugh. You know I hate elevators. Wait, wait, shh. Oh. Get you, get you. Oh, the surface. Wow, this is so nice. This is so nice. As soon as we walked in, it was like 360 views of Vegas. It's just so perfect. And you don't even have to be on the Strip. No, it's just literally so close to the Strip, but just right off. So we are right now on the 56th floor of the Palms Hotel. This is Vetri. It is a pretty intimate restaurant. It only sits about 75 people. And it is gonna be Italian food. So, you know, I think that's like, I think that's like the romantic mm -hmm. cuisine. I hope you don't mind. I went ahead and I ordered us a few cocktails oh. here. Okay. So for years, you saw this is the brown butter Manhattan. Of course, it's gonna have the brown butter, sage, bourbon, and bitters. And this cute little one's gonna be the Rosita, which is gonna have tequila, Campari, and bitters. This is nice. This is like very spirit forward. Oh my God, this is so good. You can definitely taste all the bitters and the brown butter. These are the perfect romantic drinks. just take you to a romantic restaurant and not show you the type of food that you're gonna get. So we did start with two different appetizers here. Uh, this first one is gonna be the 24 month prosciutto di parma. It's gonna have a savory zipole, which is basically kind of like a little donut. And it's gonna be topped off with a black pepper honey. I feel like we have to start with this first one right here. I mean, obviously prosciutto is very Italian, but I'm very curious because it's a, a, like a little savory donut is on it too. It is interesting because when you think of a donut, you think of something really sweet, but they figured out a way to make it savory and give it to you as an appetizer. That's good. That is so different because it is lightly sweet, but it's still savory at the same time. So this reminds me of a charcuterie board. So on charcuterie board, you have the prosciutto, you have the cheese, and you have the honey drizzle. They just combined it all for you. It is kind of cheesy actually on the inside. So the next thing that we got actually is the bluefin tuna crudo, and it's topped with a blood orange sauce, I believe, and some arugula and radish, and it looks amazing. That might be some of the best crudo I've had. That is so citrusy. And I love this vinaigrette, it's like so lemony. So we got right here the almond tortellini and it's gonna have also parmesan and a white truffle sauce. Wow. Mm. Now definitely has like an almond consistency on the inside. There's a crunch to it too. And then all these plates right here are meant to be shared, so you definitely gotta get a few of them. Oh my god. Just a bite. Oh my lord, this looks so fancy this is right here. So we have a full on branzino right here. It is served along with Brussels sprouts and it has truffle butter on it. And guys, this is for two. So you know, gotta yeah. share it with uh, your, your little lovely date right here. It's so soft and flaky. It just like disintegrates as you're chewing it. I can definitely see how this is for two. This is like a huge portion. And the best part is that they actually brought out the fish to us first right after they baked it just to show us and then they take it back into the kitchen and then the chef kind of like cuts it up for you and serves it to you like this. So is there dessert? Yes, but we're gonna go somewhere else for dessert. Giselle, so this is dessert. We are here at Ghost Bar, again, still inside of the Palms. We literally just had to go down one floor. We're like, we're now on the 55th floor, and we have this whole panoramic view of all of Las Vegas, really. It's so beautiful. You can see everything from downtown all the way to Mandalay Bay. It's really the best view of this trip. 
off the strip. Now this is gonna be open from Wednesday to Saturday. Wednesday, Thursday is gonna be from 7 p.m. till 2 a.m. And then Friday, Saturday is from 9 p.m. till 4 a.m. So really you can be here pretty much all night. And then also they do have performances every single night that they are open. So it could be anything from like performers, singers, or even DJs. So romantic. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a cocktail. Oh, yes! Oh my god, that's so cool. They even stamp the palms onto this ice cube. They put glitter, like a glitter spritz on mine. Cheers. That tastes so much of like strawberry and tequila, and it's a little spicy. This one tastes like turmeric and pineapple mixed together. So crafty with their cocktails. I've never had a cocktail that tastes like this. Isn't that so good? We're gonna try the cameraman's drink. Mm. Ooh, oh my God, it's a lot of watermelon. Oh my God, it tastes like a melted watermelon candy. Sorry, I'm keeping both of these. Oh my God, and I love the decor in here. I mean, they just have the funkiest art pieces in here. Dude, you can just like get drunk and get lost in these art pieces. And we can stare at that view forever. That is one nice view of this trip. So now that we had a nice romantic evening, we could dance the night away. So I want to take you to a hidden gem of a restaurant. I'm serious, you could drive past here and you would never guess that there was a romantic restaurant in the area. And for tonight's guests, we got Georgito here. Dude, what the heck? I told you to dress up. I did. <laughs> My super suit. <laughs> so we're just waiting outside here because they are about to open right at 5 o'clock. And if you do decide to come here, the easiest way to recognize it is that there's this really nice mural on the other side of the restaurant. Okay, George, we're going to walk in, but you have to close your eyes. I want him to like be surprised for the first time as am he walks I, Am in. I following you? Oh, sorry. Here, okay. <laughs> come, come inside. And open your eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a lot fancier than I thought. Isn't this place just so beautiful? It's amazing. I really like it. Saffron is a Thai restaurant, so that way you can kind of expect the type of food you're going to be receiving. And the decor here is just like, it's very modern, very clean. Yeah, really fancy. And then they even have this cool little chandelier right here. So it's actually all one piece right there. So there's going to be a statue right there at the bottom. And that is a part of the chandelier as well. So the whole piece itself was actually imported from Vietnam just for this restaurant. Oh, and they even have like a private dining room up there. Oh, this is cute. Wow. There's like a little lounging area. So cool. Uh, I really like it. It's like upscale, fancy. You have your wedding reception here. Oh, you could see the strip from here. They also do have a very unique beverage program with so many different wines and even sake. Now, I can't just bring you to a gorgeous restaurant like this one and not show you the type of food you're gonna get. This first one right here is gonna be the Bang Bang Cauliflower, which is gonna be lightly battered and panko encrusted, and it's served along with a house-made sweet and spicy aioli. Cheers, Georgito. Chow time. Oh my lord. Cauliflower, so delicious. Dude, that breading is so freaking good, and I love how, yeah, it's like so sweet. Crispy, juicy, very packed with flavor. So the items that we're gonna show you here right now, these are some of the dishes that the chef recommended. So usually I would never choose like cauliflower bites, but I'm so glad that they sent us these ones because they are so good. And then this one right here is gonna be the mushroom bao buns, which is gonna have Korean barbecue braised trumpet mushrooms, apple jalapeno, slaw garlic aioli, scallions, all on a yummy steamed rice bun. Mm, these are very spongy. And I freaking love mushrooms, so I just love being able to take a bite into that, but yet it still kind of has like that crisp bite from the apples. All right, George, so we got now a vegan foie gras. We're gonna taste it first and we're gonna find out exactly what makes it vegan. Right. Oh, I think it's a mushroom. It's actually really good though. Trumpet mushrooms, deeply caramelized onion sauce, simmer with shiitake mushrooms and layer with coconut shinshiro emulsion. And the sauce right here at the bottom, it's, it's really good. It's almost like a gravy in a sense. Yeah, like gravy is the best way to describe it. Mm. That's the stuff. So this one's gonna be their saffron red curry. It just has so much. It has yellow squash, zucchini, eggplant, carrots, red pepper, 
squash blossom, and it's made with a coconut lime foam and served with jasmine rice. Get some rice up in your plate. Oh my God, my taste buds are tingling with all the flavor. So try some of the squash blossom here. Mm. That's the best part. I, I agree. This is so good. I feel like this is almost a dish that you have to get here once you come to Saffron. No. Mm. Oh, jeez. Smells good. <laughs> so this is going to be one of their seasonal rotational cakes right now. This is going to be lemon cake with lemon curd, vanilla frosting, and then it's just drizzled with some blueberry syrup. And so this is vegan? This is vegan. Bottoms up. Mm. This is my first time having like a vegan frosting and it's, it's really, really good. Yeah, so they have a lot of vegan and vegetarian dishes here. It's funny though, like you come here and you eat all this food, which is very delicious food, but you, like you really miss the meat. And what's great is that you could have all this food and not leave sluggish out of here. So George, would you bring a date here? I'm definitely gonna be bringing my future wife here. Ooh, there you go. Cheers, Cheers to that. Let's go on a helicopter. So we're back with Maverick. Okay, so something else that's very romantic to do, you know, with your significant other is take a helicopter ride around the Strip. Specifically what we're gonna do, we're gonna be taking their Vegas Strip flight, and they do offer this during the nighttime or during the daytime. It's gonna be about a 12 to 15 minute ride once you're on the helicopter. So as soon as it takes off, it's gonna take you all the way up the Strip, over towards downtown, and then come back. To take the flight itself, it's gonna be $129 per person. Now that's if you come to the terminal here on your own, whether if it's you know by taxi, if you bring your own car, or they do have the option of them picking you up and that's gonna be $20 more, so a total of $149. Obviously, I do have my own car, so I just came here on my own. And don't forget, they don't only do flights just around the Vegas Strip, they also do rides over to Red Rock Canyon and then over to the Grand Canyon. Just like I did a few videos ago, make sure you watch that one. It's our turn. That was fun. Definitely worth for a ride with your honey. It was so much fun, guys. Well worth the experience. Well worth the $124. As always, guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment below. Let me know what other romantic things you like to do here in Vegas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. I'm sorry, but it's over. Bye, guys. <laughs> Dang, I should do more infomercials. <laughs> so romantic. So romantic. I have to burp. Hold on. <laughs> Yours yourselves, I got you the brown butter Manhattan, and that's gonna have the brown butter and sage. What? What the hell? <laughs> Tequila, Campari. What? <laughs> you know it's fancy when you can't say the ingredients. Cheers. Oh, can you um do, like, do the thing. Do the thing, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Doing the thing. Oh, the thing. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do the thing. We gotta do the damn thing. <laughs> I love the vinaigrette. It kind of gives, like, a very good... What am I saying? Citrusy. I said citrusy already, though, right? No, um, vinegary? <laughs> of a restaurant. Shit, I got the rest of my line. Ha 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 ha. I'm serious. Should I say hello? <laughs> sure. Okay, George, we're gonna walk in, but you have to close your eyes. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which one? Like this pair, this pair? All right, and right here we have the 
barbecue braise to earth. This is tough, dude. Okay, so this is the lemongrass margarita. It's gonna have fresh, fresh tequila. That's great. If you come here on a date, you're not leaving the restaurant all sluggish and like feeling all heavy. Like you're still gonna have energy to you know continue the night after that. <laughs> oh my lord, stop. Dude, why would you say that? Oh, okay, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you missed. Let's do it again. I didn't even drink, I forgot. I like looked away. What? <laughs> it won't open.